a lot of people say that you have to listen to your body, you have to be in tune with your body. But how can you be when there's so much noise? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. It's gonna be a quick one, I hope, today. But it's about listening to your body and the signs and the signals that certain kinds of foods uh, send to you when you eat them. And keep in mind that this, this applies primarily for this discussion for people who are carnivore, that eat like very limited kinds of meats or foods and meats. Um, for us, it's uh, meat products, um, eggs, and dairy. I can handle dairy and eggs, no problem. Other carnivore people can only eat meat, and sometimes only raw meat. Even cooking it or seasoning it with anything uh, sends them off. Those are those are fringe cases. But for us, it's it's no uh, vegetables, no fruits, no processed foods. Just meat, eggs, so bacon. You know, we eat pork and ground beef, chicken. I don't really like too much anymore, except for the chicken skins, and uh, and dairy. I can handle dairy pretty well. Uh, who knows how long that'll last, uh, but, but the good dairy, like heavy cream and butter and so on. But when I say listening to your body, it means, you know, say you do carnivore for a month and some people say, oh, I miss the salads, I miss the fruits. I'll tell you this much, like I'd go like a couple months just eating carnivore, animal-based products, and I'd say, oh, that, that salad looks good. Let me have a few bites of some green peppers and some arugula and some onions. And then, oh man, I don't, I don't feel good. I truly, truly do not feel good. There's some inflammation, some sort of stomach discomfort, and that to me is a sign that the vegetables that I ate were not good. I know onions are generally cause some inflammation and, and so on, but I just don't do it. I don't want to feel that anymore. And the same thing goes for fruit. Um, and fruit has a different effect on I me. Mean, it's not so much the um, discomfort. It's like if, the other day, or not the other day, a couple months ago, I had, I had some apple. Apple's very high in sugar. And I became, I had an elevated um, heart rate. My, I, I was just kind of jittery and I, it was just like my raised my blood sugar. It was a, even though it's a good natural sugar, I, I didn't feel right. I'm like, this this isn't normal for me to feel this way. I, I like to feel even, you know. So that that's what it really means when, when you listen to your body. And you can only accomplish that when you when you isolate the foods or food groups. Um, some people go as, to extreme lengths where they only eat one thing for an extended period of time. I don't know what that is, a week or a month. Um, and then and they can figure out which foods by isolating them completely uh, cause them problems and I achieved that just by doing my uh, my carnivore style diet and it you can't listen to your body if you have if you're eating 20 different kinds of foods or 50 different kinds of foods and processed foods you might just be feeling pretty crappy all along and you're just used to it so you got to keep these things in mind and you can look all around the web. People just generally have a, a very heightened uh, well-being. They feel great. Their skin problems go away. Their aching goes away. Their sleep issues go away. A lot of things uh, improve when, when you go on the carnivore type diet. So that's it. You can't listen to your body unless you truly eliminate and, and isolate uh, the things that, that don't make you feel bad. And, and like finding out what they are later on is is fairly easy it does it didn't take me long it took minutes just a few minutes after eating that salad or whatever and I just didn't feel right same thing with oh god don't let me get, get me started if I ever had bread again I'm not gonna but if I ever ate it let's say like one of those Italian hoagies I would feel like crap for two or three days afterwards so don't do it that's it for today's quick uh, tip listen to your body and treat it well have a good week ahead